Hey everybody, Daryl here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of the Charming Empire. Ah, first thing before I start anything else, you may have noticed that Gentle has dropped the series. He had started on K's route, but um, yeah, for his own reasons, he cannot continue on YouTube. So Rob is actually going to take over K's route. He's already caught a couple of K's videos up, and uh, so you can visit his channel to listen to K's route. I think he may get a chance to do another route before other games start to kick in and keep him busy. So uh, yeah, links in the description and in the cards if you'd like to go ahead and head over to Rob's new channel and check out Kay's route and any other routes that he might uh, get onto. And he's also going to be reading Period Cube there as well. So anyway, let me get started here. Sarah has convinced us to talk to our brother about becoming Empress and deposing him as Emperor, but we chicken out about talking to him <laughs> at dinner time. So uh, I don't know. We'll figure out a new plan of strategy here, I guess. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Why didn't you say anything? I got scared. Sarah gives me a scary look, but I deserve it. I ignored his gaze during dinner and didn't talk to Sochi like I promised. I don't think I can do this. I just have to accept my fate and get married. Is that how you really feel after all the crying you did? Th <laughs> that was... I turned beet red when he mentioned something I wish he'd forget. I tried to chase him out of the room so he wouldn't see it. If you really don't mind getting married, I won't force you to take the throne. Sarah crosses his arms in silence, but I know he hasn't given up on putting me on the throne yet. If you're still undecided, I want you to go into town with me. Go into town? You'll really take me with you? Yeah, he's going to show you just how bad your brother's rules made things. Sarah nods. But how can we do that if I'm still on house arrest? Just tell him you want to see our homeland before you leave to get married. It's been a while since he forbade you anyway. Yeah, that's a pretty good reason, I think. The next day, Sarah's suggestion flies over better than I thought it would, and so she agrees to let me go into town. If I knew he would cave so easily, I should have asked to go out sooner. He's only lenient now that you're getting married. He wouldn't have been so easily convinced before. Yeah, exactly. He had to keep an eye on you and shelter you and protect you before that. Little did he know I would fall in love with my bodyguard. Do you think he feels bad for organizing my marriage without asking me? Nope. I get my hopes up until Sarah looks away. No, he only gave me permission once I said you need to be able to talk about your own country for the sake of your marriage. Ah, so we really had to finagle him into it. I see. As though she cared at all about my feelings, he wouldn't have organized my wedding in the first place. I knew that from the beginning, but I can't help feeling sad. We still haven't even found a home I'm engaged to. I guess it doesn't matter. The town is beautiful, with its rows of buildings and carefully tended plants. The women walking through the streets in their fancy frocks are the most fun to watch. I gaze at their beautiful clothes and unusual hairstyles. I wore a western dress at the ball, but I didn't pick it out myself. It must be fun to pick out what you wear and roam the streets freely. As I stare enviously at the women, Sarah heads down an alley. This way. Oh, right. It gets quieter as we walk down the narrow alley, and we end up in a rural area. All of the houses remind me of a bigger version of where I used to live. Going down an alley can lead you to a whole different place. Yeah, and usually not a good place. This is one of the wealthier areas. The houses up ahead aren't anything like this, but don't make any comments. Okay. I don't understand why Sarah seems so edgy, but it's probably better to keep my mouth shut, like he says. Those houses aren't as fancy as the ones on the main street, but they definitely look wealthy. They look like the place where the women with parasols I saw on the main street would live. You've been looking at the women a lot. Do you want to dress like them? Uh, n no. I just thought their clothes were cute. Isn't that the same thing? I'll buy you some clothes before we leave. Aww. You don't have to do that. Don't worry about it. It's the least I can do for you. I don't want you to have to spend your money on me. You probably have books you want. But you always do so much for me, like protect me and everything. That's just my job. It's still the truth. Besides, I don't want to believe Sarah's kindness is just part of his job, or his strategy to get me on the throne. I like him much better now when he's talking about the throne. He's still grumpy, but I can feel a kindness and warmth shining through. Well, we can talk about that later. Let's go. Sarah breaks the fun mood and picks up the pace. I wonder what Sarah really thinks about me. 
Is he only protecting me to get on the throne? Hmm. No, I know he's not. I think he just wants you on the throne so he can marry you, because he loves you. Well, no. I think in the beginning, he just wanted us to get on the throne, but I think he fell in love with us, and now he's more urgent about it. Did I tell you where we're going? Sarah suddenly turns back to me. Not that I know of. Sarah gives me a frustrated look. And you didn't even think about asking. You're just like a little kid following a stranger. No, I'm not. You're the person I trust most in the world. I shrink under his critical gaze. Th that's not true. I'm following you because I trust you. I wouldn't just follow anyone. Exactly. I see. Then I... Hmm? Sarah cuts himself off. Never mind. We're headed to the Rebel's main base. We are? Is that safe? What if somebody's following us? We're not going inside. We'll just be close by. That might be okay, then. How do you know where it is in the first place? Because <sighs> he's been working with them. Togawa told me. It's easier for me to keep the palace guards away. I can't believe the palace guards are connected to the rebels. We're almost there. Come on. I run after Sarah as he walks away. He's usually careful to walk slow enough for me, so this fast pace makes me feel like I'm being left behind. Sarah, wait up! Here it is. It's like, look at this! It's the one house between these two that's like really, really messed up and like crumbling down. The other two look like kind of okay, but this one is just like, it looks like a sandcastle that's just about to be washed away by the tide. Sarah stops in his tracks. So, this is the rebel's base. The building before us looks like a rundown factory. I peek through the broken windows to get a glimpse inside. A few men pass by. Is that wise? With only a thin cape over their shoulders for warmth, they're a lot different from the fancy people walking on the main street. On top of that, all the cracks in the building's walls and windows make it look like it's going to collapse any minute. I whisper to Sarah as I gaze around. Are the rebels living here? I don't know. I wasn't told that much. Why do you ask? This place looks way too cold to survive in at night. It's a lot different from the lively buildings on the main street. For every lively place, there's a place in the shadows. That's how the world works. As we're talking, some of the rebels come out of the building wearing the same black capes. There's even a little kid among them. Someone might see us. Let's get out of here. Sarah takes my hand and walks back the way we came. Retreat! Sarah... I don't think I can be the Empress. It's not just about my lack of education, there are too many things I don't know. As we walk along the town's streets, I realize I don't know anything about this place. My time in town has taught me that everything I learned in my lessons was only superficial. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, I've never experienced such a big class difference before. You can learn about the town as you go. As long as Lord Amazaki is in power, the class difference will just get worse. But you said there will always be poverty. I don't see how my being the ruler will change that. There will always be poverty, but right now the main streets are getting too much support, and the poor are getting poorer. I see. Can I change that if I become the Empress? I start to wonder if Sarah bought me here exactly so I would feel like this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the plan. But now that I've seen the state of the town, I just can't turn a blind eye. I fell deep into thought as we walked down the street. And that's all I wanted to show you. Would you like to go shopping now? Sarah turns to me when we get back to the main street. You're really going to take me shopping? Of course. Why would I lie to you? I didn't think you were lying. I just thought you were being nice. I mean, we didn't exactly come here to shop. I'm really slow, so you might get bored. You are? Y yeah I suddenly realize I haven't chosen anything for myself since I came to the capital. It makes sense that Sarah doesn't know I'm slow at making decisions. Take as much time as you want. It's the last time you can walk around like this, so you might as well. Wait, what do you mean it's the last time? You won't be able to go outside once you get married. But... And even if you become the Empress, you won't be able to walk around freely, much less with me. What? Can't I change the laws? Either way, you're going to have a lot on your plate, so you might as well think of this as your last day of freedom. My last day of freedom? No matter what happens, something is going to change. Then, let's go somewhere you want to go. That's how I'm going to spend my last day of freedom? Again? You're the one who's going to lose your freedom, not me. Let's go somewhere you want to go. Sarah walks off without listening to what I had to say. Hey, 
Wait, Sarah. When I catch up to him, he slows down so we can walk side by side. I finally understand Sarah, and we get along so well. But we can't be together forever. Sarah's a lot different from who I thought he was. He wouldn't talk to me at first, but now it's so comfortable to be around him. It's fun being together, but he's only nice to me because I'm the princess. All he wants is to make me the empress. He probably wouldn't stay with me if I had different blood. Hey, watch out. Huh? Suddenly, Sarah grabs my hand and pulls me out of the way of a big vehicle. Hey, is that a trolley? It is. I've never seen one before. I clutch my hands together in excitement. I've heard about trolleys in stories, but I've only actually seen the tracks they follow. I can't believe the capital has trolleys that go all around town. You look really happy now, but you didn't even see it coming. Maybe we should take a trolley ride. Huh? I didn't? It was right in front of us, and you didn't say a thing. Sorry, I was thinking. Thinking about what? Everything! There's so many things to think about! I think I'm weird if I say I was thinking about him. Uh-huh. You should say it anyway. You need to get this out. Talk about it. But this might be a good chance for me to ask about how he feels about me. I will... Oh, come on, seriously, I have to stay quiet. I don't wanna, but... Fine. In order to get a good ending, you gotta stay quiet. Nothing worth mentioning. I shrug it off with a smile. Then, look where you're going. The town isn't as safe as your little countryside. Sarah lets out his usual frustrated sigh. I'll be careful. I just realized we're still holding hands. When I gaze down at her hands, Sarah quickly lets go. He seems grumpier than before. You should have told me if you don't like it. I wasn't letting go, was I? Huh? I didn't mean anything by it. Sarah continues down the street. He looks so lonely from behind as he walks away that I reach out to him. But he's walking too fast that my hand just grabs at the air. I run to catch up, but I don't try to reach out again. I didn't mind holding hands. I wouldn't even mind if he didn't let go. I blush at the thought. What am I thinking? You're thinking you love him. Sarah doesn't turn around, and I feel dumb for being the only one who feels something. Will Sarah stay with me if I do what he wants and become the Empress? He's not someone I can easily let go of. But I doubt Sarah feels the same way about me. I feel like I'm the only sad person in the bustle of the afternoon streets. <sighs> oh, this is too short. I want more. Episode 14 next, so I think... Yeah, we should have... I guess that's one more chapter before the ending? Yeah, I think the next chapter is the last chapter we get to read on his route. And since I do have Rob helping me with this, I'm going to read Soshi's story next. Because you know me. That's probably like the thing that you're supposed to read last. But I never do that. I never save the route that's supposed to be last for last. That's always like the second one I go for. Because <laughs> I, I obey the, you know, the first route. Read something a little more innocuous that's, that's going to be a little less traumatizing for people. But no, second round, I go for what I want. Whether it's spoiler heavy or not, I don't care. I'm a rebel. <laughs> Sorry if that ruins things for you all. It's just, I cannot wait, you know? I am very impatient. I mean, I do enjoy the whole games. It's just, like I said, I'm impatient. <laughs> I want to see my favorite parts early. I don't like to wait. Well, once again, hope to see you in the next episode or some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye bye everybody.